Hello everyone, welcome back to League of Legends. We're on the PBE and we're looking at uh, the new champ, Zac. Um, he's a AP jungler, I think, but I don't think he should be played as a jungle, so, yeah. Um, his passive, every time he is an enemy with an ability, he sheds a chunk of himself that can be reabsorbed to restore 4% of his maximum health, so it's really, really good. Um, oh, look at, look at the splash art in the PBE. Okay, so, let's have a look. We've got... Um, Stretching Strike, Smacks Enemies, Dealing, uh, some Magic Damage, and Slowing. Alright, let's try this one out. Let's try this. See the screen. That's some damage! Oh wait, it's it's not a uh, targeting ability. Okay. So we're just gonna push this lane in, etc. We will be probably playing this until level 6 or so. Oh, we just dropped off a bit of ourselves. There's our passive. And it's also got kind of an Anivia part to the um, ability. Where he splits into four bloblets, which get, uh, I think, what is it, four percent, ten percent of his health. Okay, so this one, the stable matter. Zach's body erupts, dealing forty magic damage, plus one percent of the enemy's maximum health. Oh, okay, so he's got some. He's got some fun uh, percentage health. Let's try this. Oh, he just blows up. Alright, so there's, look, and we're going to pick these up, get some health back, that's really cool. Alright, Elastic Slingshot, 12% of current health, that's expensive. Okay, charge up and launch towards target area, knocking up enemies. Alright, let's try this. Boing! Wow, that's cool, this guy's awesome. Alright, so let's just push down this tower. Obviously, you must have noticed by now we're playing on the uh, custom game, just because it's impossible to get him in a normal game, and I don't want to piss everyone off by not even knowing what I'm doing with this guy. So he's got the punches, which slow, which is a really, really good move. Um, he's got a gap closer, a really good gap closer, that's insane. And he's got uh, a body erupt, a little AoE thing like that, where he just blows himself up. He is a bit like um, Vlad in that he costs um, health to do his abilities, I think. Yeah, he hasn't got any kind of thing kind of thing. Um, oh shit. Yeah, he hasn't got any kind of mana bar. So let's have a look. What what scales better? What is his best ability? What do we max first? Uh, so we get a little bit of extra percentage health here. Not sure how that scales though. Alright, so the punch I think is probably going to be the thing we level. It gives an extra... Um, how do I miss that? Uh, I am actually playing on the PvE, which is uh, an American server, so there is slight lag, and it's annoying sometimes. But there we go. We got some of our health back. Get that last hit. Get some of our health. That's really cool. Uh, so it costs us health, but um, we get some of it back. Um, cost six percent, we get about four percent back. Yeah. Um, I want to try dying. That'll be really fun. I wonder what it's like under the towers because that's that's an interesting one actually. Because I'm gonna have four bits of me left afterwards for the Anivia kind of thing. So let's have a try dying. There we go. Blob the oh my god! I'm like the T1000. They killed two, three. No! Don't kill us all! <laughs> that's so cool. That is so awesome. Ah, uh, let's build into something dumb. I don't know. Cage is lucky pick. Okay, so we're gonna. Go back to lane and oh, still divided. Can't revive himself for 300 seconds. So it is like Anivia. I like that um, in comparison to Anivia because it takes people a lot to get around. Uh, you don't get 100% of your health though, do you? You get each bloblet is 10%. So it's not as good there, just because of um, just because with Anivia you have um, how much is it? Uh, 100%. Whereas this is 40%. But they have to go around and get him. So if you're if you're next to a wall, I'd imagine some would go down the other side, which is really cool. Um, I'd imagine elastic slingshot will just be used for um, moving around, like a utility like this. Right, boom! That is so awesome. You do. Oh my god. And stable matter. I'm not sure if that or the punch will be the one we need to use. Punch. That's just gonna. Have, that's gonna be some really decent poke. That is. Yeah, I think that that's going to be, I mean, in lane, I think that's going to be insane, just being able to, I mean, it doesn't cost any mana, so you can spam it, and you can just go, boink, poke at someone, and if you get ganked, you just go like this, Whee! oh, apparently I can't do it, I don't know what happened, I think I lagged or something, uh, but yeah, this guy is pretty cool, but we're going to start our ultimate, let's have a look, blob, 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 
Alright, here we go. Let's bounce. Okay. Each bounce uh, bounces four times, knocking up and slowing enemies. Uh, deals 160 magic damage to nearby enemies, knocks them up for one second, slows them for 20%, and he's hit more than once, take half the damage, and are not knocked up or slow. Okay, let's let's try this. We're flubber, so... we One, two, three, four... Oh my god, that's cool! The good thing is, you could probably do that into it. The, uh, the slingshot into it. So he's a really... I think he'll be a really good utility champ. Just like, uh, you know, um, build tanky. Because he has a bit of percentage damage as well. Not sure how that, well that scales. But... I think he'll be one of those ones that you just build tanky. He's not going to be one of those ones that you build like a glass cannon. But I'm going to actually go back and one more thing I'll check before we, we finish up this video. Is I want to see uh, the AP scaling. So we're going to buy a regular old, where is it? Blasting one. Let's have a look. So about 50% on the Q. About 2%. So I imagine that is every 25 Every 25, uh, no, not 25, every 50? Every 33 ability power you'd gain one of these. So it's uh, similar to Elise, which is very, very good. Um, and the slingshot uh, scales actually really well. Uh, he's, he's just a very, I think, well-rounded champion at the moment. This is really good. The the ultimate is very good. He's, he's just got a lot of things. He can poke, he can get away, he can uh, revive himself with his... Uh, passive, he's a very, very good champion, I think. Um, the only problem I have with him at the moment is his AP scaling. It's a little bit um, on the low side. Maybe they'll change that because it is the PBE and, um, yeah, things change, etc. And I'm not quite sure if you should level your Q first or your W. No, I'm going to have a quick look at that. I'm just going to level up. Go. I'm just going to level up and have a look at um, what's the scale. So you get 4.5% and a bit more damage. Um, I still think it's the Q you've got to level. Alright, so I'll probably be leaving this around about here. We've just explored a couple of things. Oh, 46 health. 46 oh, so good. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you want, might want to pop onto the PvE and have a quick go of this guy. And boing, 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 bye!